Good evening, Hood River County School District families. This is Superintendent Rich Polkinghorne with an update for you about three topics. Uh, the first is our elementary and secondary school reopening and the COVID exclusion. The second is transportation. And the third is kindergarten and new student registration. So first, the elementary schools and secondary schools are all now fully open. We have all of our students back on site, which is awesome. Uh, been able to get to a few buildings. It's wonderful to see our students back in our schools. Um, things are going really well in terms of following the health and safety protocols. There have been some isolated cases of COVID that have popped up since we've reopened schools this spring. Um, this is expected. Uh, this pandemic is not over, and we're going to continue to see cases of COVID. The school principals, um, with the support of the district office and with the help with the Hood River County Health Department, have been communicating with the school communities when a member of the school community, student, or staff has tested positive for COVID. We are required to report this to all families um, and staff anytime there's a person with COVID at one of our schools. Um, it could be a student, it could be a staff member, it could be the male, male person. Um, every time we're gonna send a letter home. We want to continue this process. We wanna be absolutely transparent with our community about potential COVID exposure. We're also working with the health department to provide a clear and accurate information regarding exposure and quarantine. We recognize this has been frustrating. We're, we're working through this process. Um, we ask for continued patience as we work to improve our systems and make sure the information is accurate and specific. Um, so give us a little patience, give us a little grace on that. We're going to keep working through that. Any individuals who have had close contact with a positive COVID case are getting a different letter, uh, and they're going to be and they've been they'll be contacted by the health department. To protect everyone's privacy, of course, we will not share any personal identifiable information about the person who was um, COVID positive. Uh, and our schools are going to continue to follow the health and safety protocols, including the guidance from the Oregon Health Authority and the Health Department around quarantining. Um, <clears throat> Hood River County School District, Hood River County is operating in the green zone for our schools to be fully open, and we want to stay there. So I ask all of you to maintain vigilance. We're not out of this pandemic yet. So please continue to wear your masks, wash your hands, maintain your physical distancing, get vaccinated when you have the opportunity so we can end the pandemic and get back to a um, somewhat normal, normal school year. Okay, on transportation. There's no updates on transportation this, this week, which is really great. Um, for those families that are using transportation, please know that we are, we are maintaining physical distance to the maximum extent we can. Um, again, we ask if you're able to walk, ride your bike, or get a ride to school, or drive your child to school, this helps us keep our bus ridership down. So if you're able to do that, please do it. Um, third, kindergarten and new student registration. The, the, April, the school year for next year begins on April, uh, excuse me, September 7th. Now, the registration window for kindergarten and new students is, is open now and will be open through April 23rd. Kindergarten orientation activities will be in mid-May, and there'll be more details once we have registration uh, information and we know who to send the information to. So if you know any families that are out there that have a kindergarten aged student, please encourage them to get registered for next school year. Our intent next year is to offer full days of school, um, and that's our plan. We'll, we will, of course, um, follow the guidance and re requirements from the Oregon Department of Education, but our plan right now, our planning is around full days of school next year. Um, for more information about um, kindergarten registration or new student registration, please check our website um, or contact your local school. And I just want to thank you all again for your continued support and mostly your patience um, right now as we as we work through um, COVID situations. We just continue to ask for that patience. Um, we are we're, we're excited to have all of our students back on campus. Um, thanks for all your support and continued patience. Have a great evening.